two areas that our videos suffer from is poor lighting and poor audio. And audio is really, really easy to fix. I'm gonna be showing you an introduction to noise reduction in Audition CS 5.5. Audition is a really smart program when it comes to cleaning audio. It understands what noise is and really understands how to remove that. You end up with pristine, gorgeous sounding uh, audio files, and even if they were recorded in less than spectacular conditions. So I'll show you a few examples. The first one is just a typical clicks and pops. This is recorded from a vinyl record. How do we get rid of the clicks and pops? Let's have a look. If I play this file, you'll hear the uh, music. And you hear the clicks and pops. In fact, you can see some of these clicks right here and the pops in the, right throughout it. So in our effects, noise reduction, we have something called automatic click remover. And when I call this up, it's going to allow me to play the file in the background. And we've got a few presets to use. I'm just going to leave this on the default and listen to the result. And I'll turn this off and on while it's playing and, and it, it takes a moment for it to, to ramp up but you'll easily hear the noise again. When I'm done, I just click apply and it's now applied those settings, so the whole file is fixed. Okay, that's a pretty easy one to do, simply because Adobe Audition has the ability built in to understand what clicks and pops are, because they're so common. But let's look at another really common problem, and that's clipping. When we're recording audio in a digital world, uh, it's really common to, to have loud audio, especially if we're doing an independent production and maybe we don't have the best sound recorder or we have someone who's spoken too close to a microphone, you end up clipping the top. So in this result here, I'll open this up and you can see the little chopped out edges right in the top. The, this particular file, when we play it back, you'll hear the distortion at this point. So you can tell, wow, that is bad. And normally you'd have to throw that file out. But in our diagnostics, we have an effect called the D clipper and it can scan the file, find out uh, where those particular settings are and repair those settings. Now watch it. Now listen to it back. It's restored the attack transients in those particular parts of the wave. This is really phenomenal. I mean, if you're an old audio guy like me, you know, in the old days, this was gone. This was a ruined take, but we can now resurrect that. Of course, I can jump to my effects rack and maybe put a limiter on here so we could do some dynamics uh, processing, a multiband compressor, uh, and use some of the built-in presets inside here because this flute is still a little bit harsh and we can use that uh, to remove that a little bit. Okay, so let's look at a real world test uh, with this particular file, which is an interview. I have the video and the audio file and I'm going to click inside here, insert this into a multi-track, a new multi-track and let's call this interview. Click okay. And if we play this particular track back, and I'm going to bring up my video here so you can see the interview. Aqua is an energy drink company committed to health and fitness. This never happens, right? No, it happens all the time. Right in the middle of the perfect take, you end up having a cell phone or a click or a pop or somebody drops something off of camera. Well, if we look at the waveform here, how do we see where the cell phone is? You can't. In a typical waveform view, it's impossible to see things like that. But we have a button up here to show the spectral frequency display. I also want to show you that you can split the display if you want. You want to see both the wave and the spectral frequency. You can move this uh, into position. But I'm just going to look at the spectral frequency display and zoom in. And what you're looking at is time on the bottom from left to right, frequency on the bottom to top, 
and the colors are how loud things are. So you can see these squiggly lines right in here. That, in fact, is the cell phone. And normally, if you're an audio editor, you're used to grabbing a giant eye beam and making a selection. Now, while that selection is made, let me just address the folks who've used uh, Adobe Audition or Sound Booth in the past. This is a brand new audio, uh, audio engine, really, really powerful. I've made a selection in an area. By default, Audition will play that selection. I can move that selection in real time and listen to it change. Watch this. Company. And let me just uh, loop this. Drink, 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 so instead of making a giant eye beam selection, we've got other tools in here, very similar to Photoshop. We have a marquee tool and a lasso tool. We even have a paintbrush selection tool, but I'm gonna use the marquee tool and select this cell phone area. Let me just zoom in to show you it a little bit better. I'll zoom inside here, and I'm just going to play that selection. Sure enough, that's a cell phone. To get rid of it, in our favorites, we have an auto heal selection, just like healing a blemish in Photoshop. Click, and it's gone. Now when I play that back, it's removed that uh, from there. The one setting that is not on by default that I want to turn on, and that's in our playback setting, you'll notice, I like this to return the current time indicator to the start position. Click OK. Now wherever I am, when I hit that and hit play, it goes back. That's a default setting that I like to have set in there. Okay. We also have more cell phone inside here, and we can't really heal it at this point because the audio, he's speaking at the same time it's ringing. So we have this little heads up display in here, and you can either drag this up and down or type in a number. I'm going to take this down quite a bit, and you can see it removes the frequencies out of there, and you can just keep popping that down until the cell phone is completely removed from that area. Okay, cell phone committed to health and fitness is gone, but we've got Another thing to fix over here, we've got a click right at the beginning. Is an energy, is an and that click is right here. Again, we can just go to favorites, auto heal. And then we have one other little thing that's in here. I don't know if you can see it. Let me zoom in, grab the lasso tool, this little thing right in here. What the heck is that? Let's listen. You might be thinking, was there a cricket in the studio? Was there a bird in the studio? No, that's called sibilance. That's the whistle in his S. He says a whistle in his S. We don't want that in there. We want to get rid of that. So we make a selection with the lasso tool, this arbitrary selection in space. And then go to our favorites, auto heal. It's gone. And we fixed that whole thing. So let's zoom out and listen. Click, whistle, cell phone, gone. Is an energy drink company committed to health and fitness. Just like that. So now we can go in and repair all those little problems that we've had in the past that you thought you had to go and re-record, and this is the only take you have. Adobe Audition CS 5.5 is a great tool to help us fix all of the audio problems in our wonderful productions.